crazy environment and big game and all that. Now you got to walk into the other end of it this week. Uh, how do you get yourselves ready for what you're going to see in Provo this week? Um, I think, you know, you just kind of get past the game you just played, and uh, we did that, and, and uh, we looked at everything we needed to correct and review, and uh, now it's just getting on the road and kind of being road warriors at this point. It's been a while since, since you played a road game, but you guys obviously finished the year well on the road last year. What, what changed? What, what got the momentum going on, on the road last year? Uh, I would just say the mentality we had, which was just going one and zero each week. Don't look past any game, and and I think we did that well. And I think we should just take every game, you know, step by step. You guys learn anything last year about what it takes to, to be successful on the road? Uh, just kind of going in with kind of a SWAT team mentality. Just get in and get out. Uh, do what you need to do. Take care of business and and come home. Obviously, get uh, you know. Everybody loves playing at home, but we get to go on a, on the road and play in front of a huge crowd and a big atmosphere. Is that fun as well for you guys? Uh, yeah, it is cool. It's cool uh, being able to see all these these stadiums and, and traveling places. But uh, I'd say it's definitely more fun playing on the road. Offensively, what did you think of how you guys played in, in the second half? Maybe uh, how do you look at how you guys can improve there? Uh, I thought as a whole game we played very well, and I thought in the second half, you know, it was just a little bit slower and and. You know, it's an easy thing to correct, just tweak a few things around, and uh, we'll be fine. But, uh, you know, how much frustration sets in when, when things aren't going well offensively like they were in the second half there? Um, I don't think it's too much frustration. I think it's more just being patient and just uh, kind of waiting until you get the right look. I think that Washington did a great job on defense and played it well in the second half. Kind of coach were saying, uh, when you get behind the chains like you guys did some, or your first down doesn't go very well, then you're tough luck with second and long, third and long. I know it's common sense, but how hard is it to pick up first downs and get drives going when first down doesn't go too well? Yeah, it's definitely a killer, especially you know when you lose yards on the first play or get a penalty. It's just a drive killer, especially you know on the first set of downs. Getting that first first down is huge. How do you think Ryan performed in his first career start? I think he did great. I think he handled it very well, and um, I think he really stepped up as a leader, and uh, I, th I thought he did great. You look at BYU, what kind of stands out you know, about them defensively and what you guys are going to see out there on Saturday? Uh, I think they make plays. And, you know, we watched the Nebraska game and the game from last year, and, you know, they fly the ball, they're physical, and uh, I think we just need to execute the game plan. I know you were talking about the atmosphere and stuff, and last time when you guys went down there, uh, I think four turnovers a couple years ago. What, what do you remember about that game and what went wrong and, and just uh, your experience there? Uh, I don't remember a whole lot, honestly. Uh, I remember I it was – yeah, it was a crazy atmosphere. I mean, it was packed. The stadium's huge, and uh, you just need to go and focus. The, the turnover battle, I mean, you guys didn't win that last game, and Coach was saying that's pretty rare. If you don't, you know, you need to win the turnover battle, or you're not going to win the game. And the fact that you did that before, last time you went down there, I mean, how do you guys look at the turnover battle and how important that is moving forward? Yeah, I would say that last game was kind of the one exception, I guess. But, uh, you know, that's huge, and usually whoever wins that wins the game. So we just need to keep focusing on that and keeping the ball. With uh, with Ryan uh, having one start under his belt, uh, you know, just get started. Uh, what are the things that you and the receiver core can do to help him? Uh, I would just say, you know, get repetition and get his confidence up. I think it is obviously rising, and, and it's, he's very confident. But um, I think that you know, with more games comes more experience, and he'll be better and better each game. Do you think you guys were close on some? I know Chaz just missed on that one deep one. You had one where I think you were open, but you kind of spun around. And I don't know where the miscommunication was there. But I mean, do you feel like you guys were close on hitting some big ones? Yeah, we definitely were. And you know, I think I'm not worried at all. No one really is. We know that we can make those plays, and uh, we will going forward. Is playing on grass any kind of issue? Uh, I don't know how you, know, you guys played at UConn, but I know they're saying that was kind of some weird, just a weird field. But yeah, no, I don't think it's any different really. I mean, we have that great grass field, the, the new one, so we'll just practice on that all week. And how much do you experiment with your cleats when, when you're getting ready to find grass? You mess around with it a little bit to see what you feel most comfortable with? Yeah, a little bit. You have a, a couple different sets of cleats you can choose from, so just whatever feels best. And, you know, stick your foot in the ground and go there. Do they, do they change them out on the shoe, or is it just different shoes at this point if you're changing? Uh, there's, there's different. You can change the spikes or just change the shoe completely. What was the issue at UConn with the grass? Was it wet, or what? it just seemed like a lot of guys were slipping, and they said it was kind of a weird Yeah, it was. I don't know. I think it was just kind of giving out. I'm not really sure, but...